It is now 6.47. The August winner of the One Class at a Time Award is Brianna Sewell. As News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco reports, the third grade teacher at Cabot Yerksa Elementary School in Desert Hot Springs plans to use that money to teach her students about the importance of it. Mrs. Sewell nominated herself for the $500 award to purchase more math manipulatives for her classroom. Money is one of the manipulatives that we are going to be working with in third grade. So instead of passing out dollar bills of my own, um, I'd like to get kind of like a play set of money so the kids can see what the dollar bill, the $5 bill looks like. They can see the coins um, so we can make some different connections so they can compare what four quarters is and a dollar. She says currently she was provided with enough manipulatives for students to share with a partner, but due to COVID-19, she's not allowed to have her students share. She also has other plans for part of the money. I have over 500 books that I've either purchased or uh, friends have donated to my library, and I plan on um, building up my own. LGBTQ uh, library a little bit stronger. Investing in education is her top priority as an elementary school teacher. One thing that I hear a lot um, from students is that having an education is expensive and that they don't want to put that burden on their families to have to take care of. Um, so if we can start talking about investing in their current education and investing in their future education, we can start building up those volunteer hours and we can start building up those incredible essays that they'll have to write for scholarship applications. Walter Clark says his legal group wants to help compensate teachers for some of the out-of-pocket costs for school materials that are not uncommon. We recognize that they, teachers, do this all the time. They're not overpaid and they only get a $250 deduction from their taxes for the contributions they make. He also recognizes what makes Mrs. Sewell stand out as a local educator. I think Brianna is, uh, is special because she is incredibly dedicated and committed to her profession, to her community, to her school and to her students. He's also impressed by her accepting the position of third grade teacher in the middle of a pandemic. Thank you for, for all you do. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I really yeah. appreciate your generosity mm -hmm. and thank you for constantly giving. It's ready for you to pick up in the lobby whenever you're ready. Um, and of course, for anybody watching at home, if you wanna nominate yourself or you wanna nominate a teacher, you can always mm -hmm. head over to our website, kesq.com and you click on the one class at a time button and you go from there. But thank you all so much. This was awesome. What a pleasure to be a part of this. Teaching kids about money, it's so important. That was Jennifer Franco reporting.